Bianca Renee, you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm going to give you the top 10 reasons as to why you might be breaking out. Now, before you look at me like, um, this girl doesn't even have acne, she does not know the struggle, girl, let me tell you, this is how my skin used to be when I had severe acne. It has cleared up immensely since then, hallelujah, but trust me when I say, I know all about the acne struggle. Okay, so now we can get these off the internet. You've seen them, let's move right along. Even though my skin is a million times better than how it used to be, I still do get occasional breakouts. I swore to never be that girl that's like, oh my God, I have a huge breakout. And then you look at her with her one zit and you're just like, I hate you. I hate you so much. So trust me, I am not that girl. I will take my little breakouts you know, here and there over what I used to have any day. So I'm about to give you my top 10 things that could be causing your acne breakout. Starting with number one being like the little things you could change in your everyday routine to number 10 being the huge acne causers. So let's get started with number one. Now the first thing I want you to do is to clean your cell phone. Think about it, we set our phone on different countertops in the bathroom, then we start texting or tweeting or snapping, and then we put that disgusting phone on our face. So now it's just resting on our cheeks and we're letting all the bacteria soak up while we have this amazing conversation. So if you do have acne on your cheeks, it could be because of your dirty cell phone. So I want you to always have some alcohol type wipes and just wipe down that phone, yes wipe me down, keep it nice and clean, remove the dirt, the bacteria, and then you can enjoy your conversation. Number two, I also want you to clean your makeup brushes. This is something that I'm pretty bad at, I will admit. I know that if I cleaned my brushes more, I would have less breakouts, but you have to remove all the makeup off your brushes. You're supposed to clean your brushes at least once a week if you wear your makeup a lot like I do. <sighs> so I know I need to be better. Now personally, when I clean my makeup brushes, I like to use my little Sigma brush mat. It has a bunch of different little ridges and bumps on here, so you can really get in there and clean your brushes, and you set this right in your sink. I have a full video on this, so you can click that, that little white thing that's about to pop out somewhere. Yeah, click that for the full video about the mat. Number three, I want you to clean your pillowcases. We spend all that time taking off our makeup before we go to bed. Our skin is just beautifully crystal clear, and then we go lay down on that filthy pillow that we've been drooling on while we sleep, or all that oil is starting to build up on the pillow, and we sleep on it every single night. So it's really best for you to wash your pillowcases and your sheets once or twice a week. Number four, make sure to always remove all of your makeup before you go to bed. Trust me, I know when you're really tired, the last thing you wanna do is get up and try to get those makeup wipes that are like all the way over there. Get up and go get them. Almost every single time I tell myself, I'll be fine, I wake up with a zit every time. And that's just the consequence you pay. Number five, let's talk about your workout routine. You should not go to the gym with makeup. This might sound like an obvious thing, but if you have acne, I understand. You probably don't wanna go anywhere without makeup. And then you see the same people at the gym every day, they might judge you, you're, you're being self-conscious, so you wanna at least just put a little bit of powder or something. <sighs> just don't do it. You're at the gym, okay? Who cares? Everybody there has their hair up in a bun, everybody's sweating, and if they're not, they're just there to take Instagram pictures. They're not even really working out anyway. And even if you don't wear makeup to the gym, you definitely need to wash your face and take a shower immediately after your workout. Try not to just do a workout and then you go have lunch with your friends and then you end up watching a movie and then all this time goes by. One, you probably don't smell that good. But two, you're letting all the oil and sweat mix together and just sit on your skin clogging your pores. So you wanna get rid of all that sweat and oil immediately after your workout. So now that we're kinda halfway and you know that you need to just clean pretty much everything that goes on your face. Let's get down to the nitty gritty with number six. Let's talk about your eating habits. It has been very commonly proven that dairy could be causing your breakouts. You should at least try this theory. Go one month without any dairy, that means milk, eggs, 
cheese, pizza, you know. So if you cut those out, see how well your skin reacts. This doesn't really work for everybody, but I definitely recommend that you at least try to see if your skin does have any changes. When I cut out dairy, I notice a difference. I also notice a difference when I cut out sugar. Sugar is the hardest thing for me to cut out. I have a huge sweet tooth. I personally love ice cream, I love Cinnabon. I love sweets, but every time I indulge a little too much, there are consequences. And going along with your diet, you have to drink water. I know we're all tired of hearing this because this is in like every video, but water is so important. As soon as I stop drinking any juice and or soda and I only drink water, that's when I really saw a big difference in my skin. The best thing you could do if you do live alone is just don't buy juice, don't buy soda. If it's in the fridge, you're probably gonna do it. Right now, my fridge only has water, so I have no choice but to be healthy and you're gonna get thirsty. And as soon as you start getting in the motion of drinking one, you could add lemon, you could add fruit, whatever it takes that will really help with your skin. Number seven is stress. Stress often can cause you to break out. When you are stressed, it then releases stress hormones, which then open up your oil glands to create more oil production. The more oils you have, the more likely it is to cause acne. So just try to take a breather, make sure you do something fun every week. Just don't pile yourself in work. Don't overthink things. Just really try to relax. I mean, personally, what I do to remove stress, I give all my stress to God. It's just like, you know what? I'm dealing with this, I'm so worried about this, I know about this, so I just pray on it, send it up there. He's like, you know what, I got you, fixes the problem, and then I got nothing to worry about. That's what I do. Number nine. Number nine. And this was a big one for all my curly hair followers. The types of hair products you use could be breaking you out. I know for a fact that back in high school, I was having severe breakouts, especially on my back because of my hair products. I had very long hair, so my mousse, gel, and hairspray that I used to use was clogging up my pores. I also didn't used to use like natural healthy products, so sorry to say this, but Pantene Pro-V, Herbal Essence, Garnier Fructis, you know, like all the amazing smelling products, using those shampoos and conditioners really broke me out. That could be a personal thing. I know people that use it and don't have a problem, but for me, that getting on my shoulders, on my chest, on my back, and then using gel, mousse, and hairspray, all those products were clogging up everything and really making me break out. So I definitely recommend checking out the products that you're using, maybe take a break from them, see if that helps anything. I use products that are sulfate, silicone, and paraben free. So far, so good. So definitely try to use natural -er products. Number nine is a big one, which is don't touch your face. I know for me personally, I always like, you'll notice I have a lot of pictures like this, or I sit like this, and then I always break out around my chin and underneath my chin and on my neck because your hands are dirty and then you're getting your dirty hands on your skin. Speaking of your dirty hands, Something I didn't even really think about doing until I saw like this YouTube video, I wish I remember who it was, but wash your hands before you wash your face. It seems like a very common thing. Some of you guys probably always do that and I'm like, duh, but I would always just like, you know, go for the water, make sure to check the temperature, get my face washed and start washing my face. So now I'm just rubbing my dirty hands on my face as I even clean my face. So now I always like to actually get some soap, wash my hands first, then get your cleanser and then wash your face. Easy little steps that you might not have thought about. And number 10, this is the main reason that I always break out to this day, which is because of old mother nature. Yes, once you are on your period, you will notice a huge increase in your breakouts. I had it so bad before that I actually got birth control. I have a whole video on how I use birth control to clear my skin. Does not work for everybody, but for me personally, <sighs> night and day. I always know when my period is coming because Mother Nature will just let me like little zit alerts like, hey, we're coming. 
we're on our way. So what I did to help control that was to get on birth control. I have a whole video as well, you guys could watch that, on how birth control really cleared up my skin. It just controls your hormone levels, makes everything kind of relax, and it cleared up my skin immensely. Now this may not work for everybody, but if you are someone that notices huge breakouts always around that time of the month, like maybe a little bit more than normal, then you should probably check it out. I am no doctor, so don't just get the one I use because I said so, but I use Microgestion FE tablets. I'll put that all in the description box, but maybe ask your doctor about it. Maybe they have something better they can recommend for you and your body. But they are just pills that you take once a day, and not to mention, it also makes your flow go from like a heavy seven day thing to like a pretty chill three day thing, trust me. And the last thing I wanna mention is face mapping. You've probably seen this maybe on Pinterest, where it shows you how your acne is trying to talk to you and trying to tell you what your problem is. So depending on where you break out, that shows you the type of problems that are going on. So if you wanna know more about face mapping, I will personally post one for you on my Instagram and Snapchat if you guys wanna check it out. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee and I will post a full face diagram for you guys. But that is all of the tips I have for you today. I do wanna do more skin tips and skin product reviews. I wanna do an updated face washing routine. Whatever you guys want let me know, leave me a comment. I post new videos every Friday and Sunday, so I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.